In a recent development, it was revealed that Meghan Markle lied about the designer of a dress for the SB Awards. This revelation has left many astonished, though given the context, some believe it aligns with Markle's history. The magazine, known for its favorable coverage of Meghan Markle, first reported the incident. They stated that Markle's white dress, notably long to conceal a toes, was designed by Oscar de la Renta. However, this information was soon contested by Style, the actual designer of the dress. Harry and Meghan have often conducted exclusive interviews with People magazine, showing their respect for the organization unlike the majority of UK-based media companies. Style took to social media to clarify the matter. They confirmed that the dress Meghan Markle wore was from the spring 2024 collection, not from Oscar de Laurenta as initially reported. This discrepancy sparked a wave of disbelief and criticism. The dress from Style retails for around £415, which is approximately £500, considerably less than what an Oscar de Laurenta dress would typically cost, often running into the thousands of dollars. The reaction to this revelation has been one of shock and disappointment. Many question why Meghan Markle would misrepresent such a detail. The perceived attempt to elevate the dress's status by attributing it to a high-end designer seems unnecessary and has raised questions about Markle's authenticity. The broader context of this incident adds another layer of intrigue. People magazine's covering of Meghan Markle has often been seen as overly sympathetic. The close association between Markle and the publication leads some to speculate that the initial false report wasn't a mere error but a deliberate attempt to shape public perception. Style's response was clear and unequivocal. Their public statement corrected the misinformation and reaffirmed that the dress was indeed theirs. This transparency from Style stands in stark contrast to the confusion generated by the original report from People magazine. This incident has drawn significant attention, highlighting the ongoing scrutiny that Meghan Markle faces. It underscores the importance of authenticity, especially for public figures in an era where public image is meticulously crafted and closely monitored. Such discrepancies can have far-reaching implications. The implications of this incident extend beyond the immediate details, it touches on issues of trust and credibility. For many, it raises questions about how information is managed and presented in the media. When prominent publications like People magazine disseminate inaccurate information, it can erode public trust. Moreover, this situation reflects on Meghan Markle's public persona. The decision to misrepresent the designer of a dress, whether intentional or a miscommunication, has sparked discussions about her motives and honesty. Public figures are often held to higher standards, and incidents like this can have lasting effects on their reputation. There are also whispers regarding WME's involvement. Ari Emanuel's wife owns the style brand, which has led to speculation. It is suspected that the dress wasn't loaned to Meghan but was actually bought by her to maintain the appearance that WME is representing her. Reports suggest that Meghan's contract with her original agent wasn't renewed in the spring after she failed to book or accept paying gigs, which would have been profitable for the agency. Style's public correction indicates their intention to set the record straight, making it clear the dress wasn't an Oscar de la Renta, despite what Meghan may have told People magazine. In conclusion, the revelation that Meghan Markle lied about the designer of a dress has created a significant stir. It has brought to light issues of authenticity, media influence, and public perception.